Our final speaker is Mr. Austin Wheeler from the Sprague FFA chapter. FFA, I love you. <laughs> These last four years of my life have been a blessing to me because of this organization and the acceptance that it's given me and all of us members. We are lucky to be in this group and to be in this organization that is so caring and compassionate. But I'm sorry to tell you that I wasn't always in love with FFA. No. When, <laughs> I actually began in FFA because I was bored and I didn't want to sit in front of the television for the rest of my life. I saw it as an opportunity to grow, and that's it. But FFA isn't about that. FFA is about growing and giving, and it took a lot of my FFA career and a good friend of mine for me to figure that out. So here's the story. One night in the middle of May, I was laying in my bed, just chilling, relaxing, watching Netflix with my double chin, you know, the usual. <laughs> When all of a sudden I got a text message, it was one of my chapter officers, and she needed help with her resume for chapter office. And so uh, I got up, and I grumbled, and I moaned, and I, I got up, because she needed help, and I knew that. But when I was helping her, I kept looking back at my bed and thinking, wow, Austin, this girl needs your help, and you are complaining about it? And at that moment, it hit me. I realized I never, ever wanted to be the person who moaned or groaned ever again. I wanted to be the person who gave it all to everyone and made sure that everyone felt welcome. Did you know that at the Emerge Conference this year, the Green Hands were asked a couple of questions, just yes or no questions. And one of the questions was, do you feel accepted in FFA? and all of them answered yes. This organization has given me so much, and that is why I wanna make sure to give back to the FFA. I might not have loved you at first, and I might have been blind to the love that you gave me, but one of my heroes, Tony Stark, said, and I quote, I love you 3,000. I'm Austin Wheeler, and thank you for listening. <laughs> have you seen Endgame? Here we go. And now the time has come for us to announce the new state officer team. <laughs> Washington FFA, I am so excited to introduce to you the 2019-2020 Washington FFA State President for Sprague Austin Wheeler. Yeah, I gotta flip the page. Awesome. As president-elect, you have been selected by your fellow members to be the leader of the Washington FFA Association for the coming year. You are therefore responsible for guiding the association in all its worthy undertakings. May you work intelligently and seriously to fulfill the responsibilities of your office. Congratulations. <laughs> It is an honor to be an officer in the FFA. From time to time during the year, you may encounter difficult problems, but through hard work, dedication, and cooperation, you will succeed and the FFA will prosper. Do each of you accept the responsibilities of your office, and will you do your best to uphold and maintain the principles of the FFA? If so, answer we do. We do. I now declare 
each of you properly and duly installed in the respective office to which you were elected. May your year of service be marked by integrity, hard work, and a cooperative spirit. Seek harmony among your fellow officers and set high standards of leadership for all association members. Washington FFA, I am so excited to invite to the lectern Mr. Austin Wheeler, our 2019-2020 state president.